Okay, hi, this is Andre O'Brien from Anacoli Vision and Design, and this is the Motion Capture Assistant for Poser 9 and Poser 2012 Tutorial Video uh, 3. Um, I, I, we last stopped off at the Hierarchy um, Editor, but as I was recording, I, I just finished and zig when I should have zagged and I lost that video. So, so that you can see that I have the same animation, um, because I was fortunate enough and thoughtful enough to uh, save the take to our library. You can see that it's the same animation that we just got finished using. You'll see that the arm flips down. So, you know, just for fidelity's sake, it will also um, go to frame 19. And we'll do the same thing we did before by deleting those keyframes. Just so we can start off exactly where we were prior. And all I need to do now is uh, make Andy visible. There we go. And so I'm just going to run through real quick and connect um, Andy back to uh, this figure. when um, you see weird cuts and weird edits in the video it makes you think that they've changed something unnecessarily so you know this won't be aligned as exactly like I did last time but good news is, is it doesn't have to be Uh, if you're working with a new, if you're working with um, data you've saved before, you don't have to worry about any of this. You can just attach the figure. Okay. The step one is only if you don't have any save uh, takes. Okay. I'm gonna attach the head, chest, abdomen, right shoulder. Hierarchy for uh, some the male characters are set up a lot better than the hierarchy for this guy. Just easier to read, I guess. But it still gets the job done. Uh, right thigh, right shin, left thigh, left shin. Uh, before we do that, we're going to make the hip. After we made the hip, we are going to attach Andy to our object. I'm sorry, Andy. We're going to parent Andy to new hip. And then we're going to body frames. And then we're going to. Okay, unattach. Where are we at? No. So give us a universe. Bang. There we go. Now we can attach the point cloud. And now we can uh, change the display. Uh, let's the figure style back to display. Are we using the main camera? I don't think we use, yeah, we can use the main camera. And we want to grab the head and we want to change the influence to zero. And we can grab the abdomen and we can change the influence. And we can change the chest and we can change the influence. There we go. Now we're back to. Oh, I forgot. We gotta set the IK for the feet. There we go. And if we want to scrub through real quick, there we go. It's gone. 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 There we go. Okay, that looks good. So now we're ready to go back to that hierarchy editor. Remember, the values for each body part have not been saved yet. Okay. Go to Window, Hierarchy Editor. Don't be afraid. Uh, we're going to close this out. We're going to stop at the neck and we can close that. Collar, collar, thigh, thigh. We're going we're interested in the IK chains. So when you, when you left click on IK chains, 
you'll notice that the create IK chain buttons pops up. We're going to click on that and we're going to name our new IK chain torso. And I just hit enter. Okay. I want to scroll down and we can see the torso. So now what we're going to do for Andy is we're going to drag his waist into our torso chain. Grab the abdomen and drag it into the torso chain. Grab the chest and left click, drag it into the torso chain. Now what we want to do is we want to turn on IK for each uh, chain. We can either come over here to figures and left click on each like so. You can see the new one is the new torso is listed. Or we can just left click on the squares here. And that will turn IK on for each chain. Close this out. And with the left hand selected, we can see that now the left hand, left arm, forearm now has values that change over time, which is exactly what we want when in terms of trying to save uh, the animation for Andy 2. Now what we'll do is go back to use inverse kinematics and we will deselect the inverse kinematics for each chain. animation has been preserved and now we're ready to save Andy to the library uh, we'll go to the pose library and we can see Andy too we'll delete this from our library for now we'll go back and we will save him in there sub select and make sure that Andy's body is selected which we do want select OK select uh, body transform now, what mess, another thing that messed me up last time was I had the wrong number of frames. We want 180, I'm sorry, 820, I think it was, something around that. Uh, oh, no, it's 800, sorry. We'll select OK. And I put my mouse up there because I think it'll indicate to me when it's finished saving. There we go, you see it just changed over. So now that's finished. If all is going well, we will be able to see the difference. So what we can do now is we can we can use the delete point cloud button, but it takes a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a new scene. Okay, you see that Annie doesn't have any of that attached on. We're going to close out motion capture assistance because we've already we already saved our animation. Go to the animation. You see 800 frames double click and the animation should be transferred to Andy 2 okay let's make sure we have the main camera on and let's play through our animation it's looking pretty good all right um, flip of the arm but you can you can fix that with pull this many um, pull this many tools to fix this sort of thing um, and there you have it. I'm very excited and very proud of this tool. Um, oh, there's one more thing I need you to look out for. You don't really see it here, but sometimes if you use a different character, um, notice that the hand, the neck, and the hands, the neck, and the head are not really animated. You're going to have to hand animate those yourself. Um, I'm, tr I'm working on um, tracking for hands. Um, you won't be tracking fingers so much as the position of the hand, so I'm working on that. And I'll update, I'll update that when I get that done. Uh, in the meantime, if you find that the hands are in a really weird position, this looks okay. But if you find that the hands are in a real weird position, then you're going to want to highlight the entire animation for the hand. Oh, going too far, but it's okay. And delete those keyframes. Go down to the right hand and do the same thing. Left click, hold down, and drag it all the way over. click and then from there we can close that out and now what we can do is we can uh, where's the left hand we can close the hand if we wanted to and we can close the other hand and some and now we play the animation through 
the hands have now been changed. So that's just something to note. You can change any of this. You could fix anything if you see that the knee is not bending correctly or, or anything like that. Um, if you're not doing something that's jumping, well, we did something that was jumping, so I can't use that option. But in any event, you know, it, it stays pretty consistent. Um, I'm very, like I said, I'm very proud of this tool. I'm very excited uh, to be able to present this to the world. The first uh, real-time streaming uh, plugin for Poser, to my knowledge, I could be wrong. I do remember there being one plugin that, let me see, that one plugin, I do remember it, um, you could track mouse movements, but it didn't display those movements in real time. Um, past that, you know, I'm pretty proud of, of what I've been able to accomplish here. So, again, my name is Andre O'Brien from Immaculate Vision and Design. And this has been the uh, Motion Capture Assistant tutorial for Poser 9, Poser Pro uh, 2010. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me um, anytime. Um, the software will be made available um, through Content Paradise and through my own website. Um, uh, Content Paradise first until I uh, develop my website. Um, I, I think I'm going to do a student discounting because at the in, in my heart I'm a, um, I'm an indie developer, so I understand um, the price range and whatnot. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Also, be on the lookout for an update to um, this software. Uh, I'm going to come out with uh, another version which supports multiple actors in a scene. Uh, now, keep in mind with a Kinect camera, um, none of the actors should occlude should have blocked any of the other ones but um, multiple actors in a scene is definitely possible um, and I just have to um, set that up so that's going to come out at a later date for those of you who purchased uh, motion capture assistant um, let's just call it the um, let's just call it the basic edition you know, everybody likes to do basic and pro now um, we're going to do the motion capture assistant uh, basic edition um, when I when you when I come out with the pro edition which will support multiple actors in a scene um, the upgrade to do that will be a cheaper upgrade so from now until I actually release that which is going to be pretty soon if you purchase this then um, I'll give you some kind of discount I know I should uh, I haven't just haven't decided what the discount is going to be um, but you'll have all that information um, before hopefully before you make your purchase so again this has been Andrew O'Brien from Inocular Vision Design thank you so very much please um, send your questions and comments to Forged by Flash. It's F O R G E D B Y F L A S H at AOL.com. Um, thanks again to Robbie Collins for all your help, sir. And um, um, have fun. Take care.